Yeah, hello movie lovers, it's Bob from Toronto, Ontario, up north, that guy where it's cold all the time. <laughs> right now it's hot, it's freaking hot outside, okay? Yeah, so I'm sitting inside with the air conditioner on. I ain't going nowhere today, I ain't going nowhere tomorrow. I don't think I'll go anywhere until it cools down, but it's really hot. It's supposed to be, I don't know what it is, but it's hot. Anyway, Harry, my man, a grumpy old gentleman on film, one of the members, of course. Harry has a question, a chat, wants to know if you have an obsession with any actor or actresses. Actresses? Uh, if you intentionally set out to buy all their movies, you know, that kind of question. And, um,. And my answer to that is no, I really, I really don't set out to buy certain people's movies. Not really, no. Uh, there are some movies that a person, or persons, actors, actors, that I do have a lot of movies off. Now, for instance, I have about over 80 movies of John Wayne. Now, the thing is, I am never going to get all the John Wayne movies that he ever made. I don't think that's gonna happen. I give myself a, now, right now, as I old as I am now, that that's never gonna happen. Now, when I set out buying John Wayne movies 25, 30 years ago, I thought to myself at the time, yeah, I'm gonna buy all the John Wayne movies. It was a good idea at the time. It really was, and I do have a lot of his movies, but that's never gonna happen, no. I'm never going to happen. And another person that, I, you know, an actor or actress that I like buying movies of is Barbara Stanwyck. Now, I'm never going to get all her movies either. I have a few of her movies, yes. I don't know how many. I never really counted. I do have her first movie that she ever made. And off the top of my head, I can't remember what the name of it is. <clears throat> I think it came out in 1929 or something like that. <clears throat> There we go. I don't I haven't talked to anybody yet. Now I'm talking. So yeah, Barbara Stanwyck would be another pick that I would try to buy a lot of her movies. But if you notice, if you look on Amazon, a lot of Barbara Stanwyck movies cost a lot of money. Sometimes I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but here in Canada on Amazon, some of their movies, uh, even other people's movies, sometimes they're they're, they're a lot of money. And I don't have a lot of money to buy movies, right, unless they go on sale. Now, the only movies I do buy are Blu-ray, and I buy DVDs. And I don't have 4K, I don't have a 4K TV. I don't buy steel books and, and, and you know, all any Criterions, all that stuff. That's a completely different type of thing, and that costs more money. So I'm just sticking to Blu-rays and DVDs. Yes, that's me. I have no intentions of buying anything else. I have a hard enough time buying Blu-rays and DVDs, right? So, no, I'm not interested in any other kind of thing, right? And the only movies that I do buy are the ones that I have to hold in my hand, like this. This has to be in my hand. I don't buy movies or buy movies or, or stream them on, uh, what do you buy them and you have them on your computer or stuff like that? No. I've never did that, and I've got no intentions of doing that. Now, I do have, of course, I do have TCM here, right? That, uh, you know, I, I've had it for 25 years. Uh, I, I watch movies on there all the time. If there's a good movie, I'll watch it. If there's a movie I've seen already 10 times, I want to watch it, I'll, I'll watch it when it comes on. I have my Crave TV here, the movie channel that's in uh, Toronto and here in Canada. Uh, uh, Rogers, I have uh, Home Box Office with their movies and stuff, yeah. But that's, that's all, yeah, and I have Netflix. Kelly and Dave have Netflix, so they signed me up on one of their things. They gave it to me. I don't pay for Netflix. They do. I'm just an extra person on there. Well, I don't even know what you call it. I do that. But, yeah. But there are there, there, there are people that I do like buying movies. So if, I, if I see them cheaper, buying them and stuff like that, right, I, I do buy them. Like, something similar to Mike, I, I like, a, you know, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford uh, and Catherine Hepburn. Um, yeah, 
And if I had a chance, or a choice, I should say choice, not a chance, choice to watch an old movie, say, from... <clears throat> 1940, 1944, 1946, an old black and white movie, and a new movie that's made today in, the, in the, I don't know, blockbusters or those old you know movies that cost a lot of money to make. I think I would choose uh, an old movie, a black and white movie. Yeah, I'm. I don't know why, but yeah, I, I, I do that. So, but uh, to collect one person. People, uh, wait, uh, an actress, uh, actor, uh, to, to steadfastly go after all their movies? No, I don't really do that. You know, Cary Grant, I have uh, his movies, but not them all. Uh, not like Harry. Harry's. Harry says he has them all. And that, that's good. That, I, I think it's good. If any one person, a movie collector, wants to head off and collect uh, persons or people, actors, actresses, like. They're all their movies that they ever made. That's it's more power to you. If you can do that, break my hats off to you. I never, I never, you know, I never ever set out to do that other than John Wayne. But uh, I came to a conclusion a few years ago that's never going to happen. So, uh, so no, I don't go after movies. Now, if I go on Amazon and see. Uh, an old movie that's on sale or something like that or something that I don't have. Uh, if I can get it, you know, for ten bucks or something like that, you know, that sure, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll get it. I just bought uh, uh, St Stella Dallas, uh, Barbara Stanwyck. That was like, uh, I don't know how much that was, TCM, but uh, I have it. But uh, I wanted the new copy. I wanted the, I don't know, what do you call it, update? I, I do have a copy of it, but mine's old. Uh, it's from like 20 something years ago so I bought a new one yeah so Barbara Stanwyck I love Barbara Stanwyck she's my favorite uh, yeah, yeah yeah she's my favorite actress you know and Betty Davis Joan Crawford you know Catherine Hepburn they're all up there and stuff and other some other actors actresses in, in the day but for some particular reason I lean towards Barbara Stanwyck and I and like I said I do have a few of her movies. I think she's, I don't know, lovely, I guess, or she's pretty, or I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Barbara Stanwyck, yeah, and John Wayne, my two favorite actors. But to set out intentionally, to set out to buy uh, the whole realm of movies that anybody ever made, and if anybody does do that, or any of the grumpy old gentlemen do have a collection of one particular person, that's more power to you. I take my hat off, I, I salute you. But I have no intentions of buying complete movies of anybody. Be, because uh, uh, a lot of the times, even John Wayne, even buying John Wayne movies, they're not all winners. I, you know that, right? They're not all winners. Some of them are duds, losers. Like, they're not, you know, the. A lot of John Wayne movies are like seven, you know, you can watch it, it's a good movie, and you know, you get a couple above seven, and you get, you know, a lot below seven, and stop the way I write movies, but uh, some of them are not very good. <laughs> I admit that. Some John Wayne movies are not exactly, they don't set the world on fire. But hey, sometimes you watch a John Wayne movie, you know, and it's, it's all quite all right, but... Uh, Barbara Stanwyck movies, most of them I've seen in Barbara Stanwyck movies are pretty good, if I remember right. If I remember right. Ball of Fire is pretty good, I like that one, Stella Dallas. There's a number of, uh, uh, Barbara Stanwyck was even in uh, a movie with Elvis Presley and she stole the movie right from Elvis Presley as far as I'm concerned. And I went to the show and seen that one, yeah, the show, yeah. And that was at the downtown. She was in a movie with Elvis Presley called Rustabout. I don't know if any of you recall that movie with the, uh, Elvis, right? They were in the circus and stuff like that. But Barbara Stanwyck was in that with Elvis, and she was she was the best thing about that friggin' movie. Yeah, even 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 in that 1965 or whatever it was, I didn't really know too much about Barbara Stanwyck in 1965. I was only like what, 14 years old, and, and to me, even then, back then, she kind of like stood out, and I didn't even know anything about her then. I was too young to know anything about movies and this and that. I just went to the show, 
you know, I've always been interested in movies since watching them on TV late at night, but uh, Barbara Stanwyck, yeah, she's one that uh, I wouldn't mind owning all of her movies, but that ain't gonna happen, you know, because they, they cost a lot of money, and some of them you can't find. And I'm not, I don't know how to go about looking everywhere for movies, so that ain't gonna happen, so, no. So the only movies that I'm interested in are, like I said, DVDs and Blu-rays, and you can forget about everything else because I'm not interested in it, in, in any of them. No, I have no intentions for anything. I'll stick with my Blu-rays, I can afford Blu-rays, and I can afford DVDs, even if I buy them on Amazon, even if I get them down around the corner, which I'm planning on going down to soon, hopefully when this, you know, the pandemic virus slash thing, and wearing masks kind of get over. In fact, I wear a mask to go down the street to go to the, you know, thrift store. I'll, I'll, I'll wear a mask. I don't. That doesn't bother me. But right now, I'm still not going anywhere yet. But uh, it, well, well it, a little thing, uh, Toronto's opening up, so there's more and more things uh, opening up here in Toronto than uh, you know it, as time goes by. But yeah, but uh, to answer the question, do you uh, you know do you have an obsession or do you buy? Or do you try to get the complete movie collections of. People or actors? No. The answer is no. No. And the only one that I come anywhere near closest to collecting or having most of their movies is John Wayne. Anybody else? No, I don't, I'm not even anywhere near collecting all their movies. Cary Grant, I don't know how many movies he's got, 70 movies or something? No, I don't even anywhere near that. No. Not even close. I don't even know how many Barbara Stanbrook movies there are. I know I have a few of them, but no. So, my uh, Harry, my buddy, my boy, Harry, my man, I do hope you're feeling well, the family's doing well, and everybody's getting well, and California, is it California where you live at down there? I get mixed up with everybody. The only, I know uh, um, Inns and Wales, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do hope you're doing well. And everybody's doing well for that matter, you know, I mean, hopefully so, yeah, so there you go. So that's my answer to that little thread going around, or Harry wants to know, which was a good, pretty good, uh, pretty good question, right, uh, going on, that Harry wants to know. Yeah, yeah do you have an obsession on, or buying uh, any one actor or actress's uh, movie, uh, all the movies they have? So, good question. So, there. But my answer is no, I have no intentions to. All right, movie lovers, talk to you later.